hi guys welcome back to another video so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how this bmw touch-up paint works so i got this from the original bmw dealership and as you can see my uh color is a52 so which is base gray uh it's written in dutch or german so that's not how you spell it in english but a52 is my um car color so that's the color code for my car and you can find yours i'll show you later on in the video where you can find yours so it's normally under the hood so under the bonnet depending on the model and or it should be uh, on the driver's side door so you know where your uh, tire pressure and stuff is your vin number so your color code might be there as well so depending on what car so if it's blue it's with a different paint uh space gray is a52 but i'm not sure if there's different types of um you know space gray or obviously there is different types of gray so just make sure you got the right color code otherwise you might mess up your paint and guys this is the first time i'm using it so what i'm going to be doing is testing it on this uh, i've been advised to test it on like a piece of paper or but i'm doing it on plastic because it's the most you know closest thing that i could get to my car so uh before i do anything on my car i just want to test it on this you know to see how this works so let me just open this up so here we have uh, the actual paint which is the base coat so this is the actual base coat and then here we have the clear coat so uh, uh, the first thing that goes on the car will be this so i'm just going to test it on this so i just want to see how thick or thin the brush is before i do anything on the car so uh yeah guys it's 12 millimeters so let me just double check at the back and for those of you who do because there's i've tried looking for pictures online of the back but here it is in different um languages if you just want to take a screenshot or a picture and read this on how to apply the paint so that's the english one so it clearly says for touching up minor paintwork damage, shake, touch, up stick well, apply several thin layers of base coat and then apply a clear coat after it has become touch dry approximately 30 minutes. So it does say to apply several thin of layers thin layers of base coat. This is the base coat and it says to shake it well as well. So just give it a little shake. So, what I'm going to do is, um, yeah, I'm just going to do on top of that. Just move that. So mine's one of them is just like a little dot. So what I'm gonna do is that. And I've got a minor scratch, like you know when people key your car. I've got one of those, but I gave it to some guy to touch it up, but he I'm guessing he used the wrong colour, but I'll show you guys uh when I go out to apply on my car how that works. So what I'm gonna do here is try the thin something like that. Well, I messed up a bit, but so what I'm gonna do now is just let this dry for about half an hour and see how it comes out. So I catch you guys in about half an hour to see how this comes out. So guys, uh, half an hour later we are back. So as you can see, I have uh, drawn another few ones on this side because just because um, these ones were a bit too thick. I don't know if you can see. Um, so yeah, I decided to just practice a few more. So I recommend you to do that as well if you're gonna, 
you know, before you start on your car. I'm just going to touch one of them and see if, yeah, that's dried out. As you can see, there's no paint. So what I'm going to do now is apply the clear coat, which is this one here. Focus, yeah, clear coat. So I'm going to do, try and apply that. I don't know how this works. So it's literally just like a clear coat, which I'm going to apply on top. Thing it just protects the I'm just gonna do on a few I'm guessing it just protects the paint I'm guessing that's what it does and I think that's about it that's all you do I probably leave it for about a few hours or half an hour so here yeah, guys um this doesn't look too bad. Let me try on this one here. Because that's what my car has. So I'm literally just going to put a little dot on it. So yeah guys. Um, this is it. This is what I'm doing on this but what I'm going to do now is go and do it on my car so I'll see you guys the next shot so guys here it is the moment of truth so as you can see um, this was done by my local mechanic these little thing here not mechanic I mean the body shop guy body work guy and he done an alright job but it's not the best job in the world I told him to touch it up but I think he, he's, he's used a different colour code and over here as well just like a little bit sorry guys the, the, the car's a bit dirty we've got a little scratch here it's a quite a big one we've got one more over here and let me show you the big one on the door which is this one here so it was just a normal scratch but this guy he he um made it a little bit worse so i'm just gonna try and touch these things up a little bit and see how the paint works so i've got the paint here so we need the not the clear coat we need the this one first so i'm just gonna place the camera here see that so that's what I'm gonna do so shake this first so I have to be careful because once it's done it's done I can't really take it off So this is actually a better match to my paint. So this is the bit I've touched in. I don't know if I've made it worse or better but it looks a bit better So hi guys, this is how it ended up looking like. Um, 
what can I say still looks the same as before and I've also done this bit as well and this bit looks a little bit better because all this was black but um, it's okay to like just to cover up um, little little things but I wouldn't say it's the best thing in the world as in yeah I mean as you can see this is the result and I've done uh, it was in this bit there's another bit I've done as well but yeah guys um, this is pretty much it. it just looks like how it looked before but yeah that's the end result this and this and I just need to apply the clear coat which is not gonna give much of a big difference but I'll do that in about 20 minutes and yeah guys and I didn't end up doing the side scratches on the door in case I mess it up Oh yeah guys, uh, that's the end of the video, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and yeah guys, thank you for watching, and see you in my next video.